Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. If you've been watching the news or reading online, it's all over the place about a 31-year-old mother named Jamie Gilt who was accidentally shot by her 4-year-old son while driving by a 45 ACP handgun that was most likely in the backseat of the vehicle. The news is blowing this up. They are saying that she was a gun activist, and she was. She was a strong supporter of the Second Amendment. And they're saying even her, in an I got you moment, even her had this happen to her. And instead of lending support, they're using this, as they always do, to say that, look it, she's the example of your average gun person who's irresponsible. You know, usually when somebody who's innocent gets shot, people usually support, but not in this case. And the fact that she's a female even drives them even more crazy. Well, she's a mother and she has uh, guns around her children. Well, let me tell you, when my daughter was four years old, yes, guns were around her. Yes, she was taught safe gun handling as much as she could handle at that time. Yes, she was pulling a trigger of a, an unloaded firearm so she gets the feel to remove the curiosity, which I'm sure the same way Ms. Gilt did. You know, if I had to speculate, I would say the 45 ACP handgun was in 1911, that the thumb safety was engaged and it was accidentally disengaged and with this light trigger pull, the, the, the young man probably pulled the trigger. It's got to be horrifying on him. But my goodness, you, you watch the news and they're like, what happened? Because she was a gun activist. Now, I would like to think if something like this happened to me, that I would get a little more support and a little less finger pointing by the liberal media, but I know better. You know, this isn't like the lady at Home Depot who started shooting at people as these people were driving away who had stolen stuff from Home Depot. It wasn't like that or like Jose Canseco who blew his finger off by pulling the trigger when he claims he was cleaning his gun. This is a supporter of the Second Amendment, just like me, just like you. She deserves our support. She doesn't deserve our criticism and saying, she did this wrong and she did that wrong. No doubt mistakes were made. But my goodness, there's not a day goes by that I don't make a mistake. There's not a day goes by that anybody doesn't. Hopefully, we live to tell about it. And I think she will too. They say she's in stable condition, but the point of this video, which I did not plan to make, but I feel like a response has to be made. We are all Second Amendment supporters. So was Jamie Gilt. And I hope that Jamie Gilt will continue to be, I'm sure she will, based on a... A, uh, a love for firearms and a mistake that was made that is capitalizing, being capitalized upon by the liberal media who's having a field day with it, and we have to do everything we can to resist that. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.